Hello, this is Cotton Stoops, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about Snagoop here. Probably one of my favorite Lumians in the beach update, but yeah. Snagoop here is actually more good than you probably think it is. I mean, you probably think it's pretty bad, because yeah, HP, that's pretty, that, it's pretty bad. But still, Snagoop can do a lot of things in PvP that can one benefit your team and benefit your team down the long run so that's obviously pretty good and without further ado let's get on with the video quick thing to know that video overview it's yes right here um these are all the things that are going to be happening in the video i'm going to put timestamps down in the description so you can um you can do that get to the stuff you need to know all right let's get on with the video now so base stats these are actually pretty good base stats for an offensive lumion i mean protagon has similar bulk to this thing and if you look at protagon it can take resisted hits pretty well which is a really weird thing to have for a sweeper but snag up here is similar while it isn't as fast it definitely does make up for its damage and energy i mean just damage i mean 121 range attack is on level on par with valkyrie um zephalin you know ikazune and well not ikazune but totemized personalities lets you be on the same level as ikazune and yeah it's just really good with range attack especially when you have 90 base power moves which i'm going to be talking about later um for speed 108 is all right you do have speed metronet ferroglyph duskit vesperatu namare um garbantis volkaloa garlash even more that i'm not currently thinking at the top of my head but those are the important ones and obviously this is pretty good for what it can actually do so yeah it's gonna probably gonna be a speedy wall breaker that can serve as your cleaner or sweeper for your team when you really need to and snagoop's typing is toxic in air probably not the best as um because like it doesn't have a million resistances but yeah resistance resisting plant bug toxic that is pretty good in my opinion because well not so much as plant but bug is pretty common terrafly garbantis Ventation, all a bug type moves. And for toxic users, you have Vanillin, Swolder, Terrafly again. And yeah, that's pretty good for what it can do because now you can either provoke them, set up on them with your buck up, I guess, and or just pressure their team a lot. Immunities though, a really cool thing is that it has the Earth immunity. With that ability, you can just you can just switch it on Cinemar, switch it on Tyrex. I mean, Tyrex doesn't resist Toxic, so you should be good in terms of your moves. And for major resistances, you are resisting Brawler. One of the best offensive typings in the game. Obviously, you don't do well against Mutagon. But for later down the road, you can do really, really well against other Brawler types that might not have the coverage to resist you. And for its weaknesses, it kind of suffers. I mean, electric and ice are the pretty much the only things you need to be worried about. Um, Jolt Tooth, Protagon, Zulong all have electric type moves. For ice type moves, um, the only really common one, I guess you can say, is Akalos, Tundralin, and Himber. But Tundralin is weak to range. And yeah, it's not that much you have to worry about. But being weak to Icicle Traps kind of does suck too. So, without further ado, let's get to the sets. Now for its sets, it's actually pretty interesting, but it's pretty basic, so don't worry about it. Um, 200 range attack, 200 speed, making you as bulky as possible. And, well not bulky, I mean as powerful as possible with your speed tier being that much. So, um, having that energy amount is obviously beneficial because then you can throw off five of your muck blasts or air blades or you can do two muck, two buck ups 
and five mud blasts. You probably noticed that I have these more than four rooms, but Airblade here is pretty much just for if you just do not want to use Jetstream. Um, the reason why it's here because Marksman, you know, it's increasing your crit damage, buck up increasing your crit rate. So it definitely kind of does make sense for Airblade to be on this set. And of course, here, you can either run Poison Barbs or Poison. Reason I won't I won't be saying Provoke here is because there's just another set I'm going to be talking about that does a greater job with having Provoke on it than this one. Obviously, you're focusing on more on offense, so you're not going to be needing Provoke on this set. Items. Health Amulet. Energy Orb, Toxic, Slash, Air Essence. Either one of these essences work really well. And the reason why I'm saying Energy Orb is because your energy is kind of low. So that's not going to be really beneficial. And Health Amulet, I mean, you don't have to run it. But if you don't have any other teammates that won't run a Health Amulet, I mean, you're probably going to have to. Because Tyrex is just a really good teammate for this. You're, you can just consider running Health Amulet on this thing. So, Immunize Set, it's pretty much the same thing as the other Marksman Set, but you can run different items and different moves. So, Immunize is more focused on support, while you still have the same TPs, which is for another reason, but you still have the same TPs because you want to do damage and you want to add speed stuff. Obviously, add speed and nimble Metronet, Barbantis, you know, all those things is pretty beneficial for you. And just getting the jump on a lot of things is just really great for this. And you need to have speed stuff so you can do things because your defenses aren't going to help you out for that much longer. However, it shines here with its moves. Um, you can run Jetstream over Provoke. The reason why is that Jetstream isn't really needed. Because such Jetstream doesn't really hit a lot of typings, but then again, you can run Provoke over Barter here. Um, if you do not want to run Barter, you can run Energy Orb, but if you are running Provoke on this set, I would recommend not running Jetstream over Provoke. But of course, being more consistent with two moves is always a very good thing. Um, Volcanic Ash slash Thunder Orb. These are for your barter. I mean, you have the ability to immunize, so you can throw these items away and you won't be affected because you are immunized. And last one, barbs or poison. The reason why we still have these on is because poison barbs is really valuable as well as the ability of poisoning. So that's pretty much it for the sets. So let's get on with the teammates. Teammates for Snagoop is pretty simple. Tyrex, Valkyrie, Joltooth are all good offensive stuff for Snagoop. And don't worry, we're going to be talking about these two later. But yeah, it can do a lot of things with these three lumens. Um, the main reason why you want to use these guys is because they can cover your weaknesses. Um, Tyrex here can cover your mind and your electric weakness. It does suffer, well it's neutral to ice, so it's not the worst thing in the world to use for ice types. But then again, you can just use something else like Chartiki. For Joltooth though, you do resist electric, but not pretty much any else. But Joltooth here is really good against, um, it's really good for you, because Joltooth is weak to earth as well as everything here. So you do help a lot with that. And Sunny Mars is a very common answer for all of these lumens, so that's obviously pretty good. And of, of course, you can have your resistances help out these guys. Um, being weak to toxic, like all of these guys suffer from poison, especially Tyrex because it has no reliable source of recovery. So that's pretty much it. For defensive options, you can run Sunny Mars or Luminami. Sunny Mars is alright because it does help with your electric weakness, especially against Zulong and Protagon. So having a Sunny Mars is pretty beneficial. But 
I guess you can pair these two walls together with your Snagoop because this resists ice and this just does generally well against my types. I mean, Fairy Glyph doesn't want to switch in, it want to switch out actually. And Shachi, while you are probably going to be running very robust, um, you, you can do really well against Shachi if you run very clever or you can just use your City Mars for it because it's generally really a bulk. Um, for counters though, Bar Blast, Iliguana, Stratosaur. Sadly, Stratosaur walls you, which is not the best. Iliguana, well you can poison Iliguana. I wouldn't recommend unless it's on a switch because it's not really that beneficial of you staying in just to poison Iliguana. And it can cover your Thunder Roar but that's besides the point. Bar Blast here, it's just generally bulky. As well, it can stall you out, so that obviously isn't really great for you. However, these are all the walls you can switch into. It's amazing. <laughs> Obsidragon, you might want to watch out for Primal Slash, but other than that, you should be really safe switching in on Obsidragon. The most safest things you can switch in on is Venelin, Seti Mars, and Swolder. Swolder can hit you unless it has Mega Chomp, and most of these good days, they're running Mega Punch over Mega Chomp because, you know, Brawler is just a better typing. And you hit the same stuff that Mega Chomp would hit with Mega Punch. Ventation is probably the most dangerous out of all of these because while you do. While, while you do resist Geyser, I mean, Geyser has no effect on you. Um, battering, Ram, battering Ram is still pretty deadly because it is a 121 base stat move that's being scaled on that. So that's not really great. But yeah, these guys are the best for switching in on. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you liked the video. I would like it because I don't know I'm probably going to be doing a showcase on this and no I am not kidding I am not lying about it so yeah there you go subscribe if you're into that I have a discord server it's not really that great but I would join it it's it you can get it active I mean we're trying to get it active right now so there you go and that's pretty much it also remember Zulong is a dumpster fire